Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Charity Glider edition this time by popular request that means that one of you asked me about it we're going to do bullet charts okay so we're going to do two types of bullet charts so you can choose let's get started okay so this is what we're going to do we're going to do this bullet chart this one there is already a tutorial for let me show you so if we go to chartiglider.com gallery I'm going to post the link down below the Charticulator team has already done a video with a tutorial on how to reproduce this chart. So I won't do it, there's no point. But I have recreated it with uh, the Northwind data set. You're going to get these files, so you will be able to um, practice on creating it because you don't show the data set, okay? So you will be able to do the same thing. But these, they don't show how to create, so that's the one that we're going to do. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, you have to download Charticulator. So go here, get visuals, and then download Charticulator. Okay, so once you have it, you click on the Charticulator visual. And before we do that, let me show you the data very quickly. We have sales, we have years, so sales for each year. And then we have a table that is called targets that contains the target sales for each year. And then when the sales will be good, satisfactory, or bad. Okay. So that's what we're going to plot in here. Okay, so now that we know that, we go to Charticulator, we go to Edit Chart, as always, Create Chart, and then we're going to put all this stuff up here. So we have all the fields that we need to create our chart, and we get cracking. Okay, this is actually very easy, very, very, once you know how to do it, that's everything in life. Okay, so first of all, we're going to put this as a category, otherwise you'll get numbers. And then we get the years, 1996, 1997, and 98. Let's put it up a little bit. And now we're going to do the, for the, this axis, we're going to do a data axis. And we're going to do it a vertical one. So we need to change the orientation of our chart to y stack on the y axis right so we want to stack it like that boom 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 the, the boxes and then we're going to go in here and we're going to create our axis now if you drag from the bottom to the top you will get the numbers from zero to whatever if you drag from the top to the bottom you will get the other way around and won't be able to sort them so make sure that you go from here to there just letting you know. I've done the mistake, so you don't have to. Now, to the data axis, we're going to drop the sales. We're going to drop um, satisfactory. And we're going to drop bad. The good we don't need it because it's the top, right? The top of the chart, or whatever that is. So now we have here our um, axis. Now, this is one of the improvements they have done, so make sure you download the la latest chart later. On the data axis, now you can format the axis. Beautiful, thank you, chart later. I love it. So, there you go. No, not two, it's zero to S. This will do millions or a thousand, right? You see the, the difference. If you don't know why I write this, this is the format for three, D3 uh, charts, so that's what they use. Just use it. You have to learn this. There's no other way around. For now, maybe they will have like drop downs afterwards, but for now, it's, this is the way it looks. So now we have the years, we have the sales, and now we need to start graphing the bullet chart, right? So what we're going to do, zoom a little bit, and then we're going to do the mark, and we're going to put from before we do that, so I see everything. We're going to put from here to bad. And then we're going to color that red. Ooh, <laughs> what a horrible red. So sorry. Maybe that's better. Then we're going to get another mark and we're going to go from here to satisfactory. And we're going to color it yellow. That's just a horrible colors. And then the rest of the stuff is going to be our uh, good, right? So let me, so I can see everything. Go in there, grab it there, boom, 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 to the top. That will be our green. 
The colors are absolutely terrible. Okay, whatever. Pick better colors, please. Then this is our sales. Our sales is going to be the, the chart in the middle, the bar in the middle. So there are different ways you can do it. You can just drop the mark, or select the mark, and then you can just draw it up to sales. Right, and this is our sales. This is going to, when you save, it's going to, to center itself. And if you try to make it a little bit bigger, good luck with that because it's not going to do it. You see, save is still going to be small. That's why on mine I hook it up to here. Otherwise, you can put guides and stack it to the guides. That's one option. You could actually do it like that instead. This is like a quite a common like standardized financial way to do this type of stuff so we're going to give this another horrible color <laughs> oh my god i should work on my colors a little bit better before i do this charge okay let's put a text and we're going to anchor the text in the middle of our this thing then we're going to zoom in a little bit i'm using the wheel of the mouse and then i'm going to put this like a, not like that, that, and then I'm going to put the actual sales in there so we know what the sales are. Uh, sales, and then format these with um, zero s the same way as before. There you go, beautiful. Okay, so. Another thing that you probably want to do is give a little bit of space to these things and we want a legend too, right? So you go to the legend and then column names and you put the good, the satisfactory and the bad, create legend. It's going to sort alphabetically and there's no way to fix that. So there's no turn it upside down, turn it or use a measure for legends. I have a request on that, it hasn't happened yet. So if you want to be able to sort it correctly, just put one good to, you know, in the order that you want. Unfortunately, that's the only thing that we can do for now. But we do not want those colors. First, we're going to pick a rectangular and then we're going to edit scale colors. Good is going to be our, what's the Power BI green? I think satisfactory is going to be the Power BI yellow. And bad is going to be the Power BI red. Right? Save. Back. And here we have our chart again. So you can see if you met your target. In, you see in 1996 you did fabulous. In 1997 not quite there. And 1998. Mm -mm -mm. This is not the complete year, but still. So now you know how to do bullet charts in charting clear is very very easy you can put it in any format you want if you just want one year obviously this will respond so you can just go in here and say hey i just want to have uh, 1997 beautiful so then it'll show only 1997 or 1998 okay so very very cool so this is all for today let me know if you have any other chart that you would like me to do and I will give it a go and I will see you again next week with another Charticulator video. Are you enjoying Charticulator? Let me know in the comment box. I'll see you soon.